you are a musician mm -hmm. and th this is so interesting because i don't think that i knew that you were into the punk scene yeah i was very punk. square seeming you know work over at harvard and come in the store and not stick <laughs> around very long and not you know yeah, well it's, it's not that but just that, that you're I'm not even sure, like you're, are you an experimental jazz musician? What, like, what do you call Yeah, it? yeah. I mean, I do, I, you know, I guess what, as far as my, what I'm play, it's mostly the free jazz and free improvisation and some noise. And then I compose too, and that's a variety of things. So, yeah, I mean, I definitely, I left the hardcore scene a long time ago. I mean, I, still have a lot of friends from that era and friends who are still part of it, but I don't, I even listen to it on occasion, but I don't interact with it really. Uh, I haven't been in a hardcore band since I moved away since like 2000 something, 2003 or so. Um, and so, yeah, like, and I was at work too. So it's like when I was at Harvard at that job, we had at least something of a dress code. So I, I never came in with a band shirt or anything like that. Would you say that your veganism and your music and your your visual artist as well? Right? Yeah, I, it's been a while, but yeah, I work yeah, on yeah, yeah, the, the yeah. Too. I know, I know what that's like. <laughs> like so many things that I love to do that I'm sure you're you're a more accomplished visual artist than I am. But um, how do those two big, really important parts of your life like do they kind of intersect or dovetail at all? Not directly. Um, I've, I've, on occasion, I've mused about that and not really been able to reach a conclusion of any kind. Um, I think, you know, in some of my playing and performing with other people, there's a certain philosophical approach that is tangentially related to veganism. So I think, you know, in terms of performing music with other people, that communication, and I, as I mentioned earlier, listening and really um, communicating and communing, um, approaching others from the space of respect is all really important. Mm -hmm. And so that definitely, and even as a composer, that's important too. So that, I mean, that definitely relates to veganism in terms of a of an ethic based around, um, you know, avoiding using one's power unjustly, you know, um, and that's at least part of the space in which it it does relate, um, you know. I love that. I love that answer. Because I, I, I would not, I don't know why that didn't occur to me. But that's lovely. Um, I'm always thinking about these two things, how um, a story of mine is going to be received, like how, how it's going to land with someone emotionally, not just intellectually, but emotionally. Um, and then also the you know, wanting to communicate effectively and then not, not try to feel like I'm putting people down for their choices or just to like meet people where they're at. Yeah. Well, I hadn't really connected those before. So thank you for that. Yeah. And that, I mean, that can be a real, a real challenge sometimes, as you know, um, I'm fortunate that as far as performing music, I, I basically, I, you know, I work with people who are pretty competent. So it's rarely a difficult situation to deal with but i you know i found i found sometimes even when you you know you're working with people who maybe aren't as good as to say it that way that there's ways to support them um and to still create sound that's good you know i mean you don't want to not do that but you know you can you can kind of make it all work somehow mm -hmm. 